Hey folks! Welcome back to Let's Play Outrun 2006, the chilling prequel to Outrun 2019 that details how the world sank into endless war. Except for that one guy who has a totally kick ass rocket sled. Not really though. So, in the last episode, we went to goal A, and today we're going to goal B, which, for the most part, means we're going to be taking the same route as last time but with one diversion at the end. And this lets me bring up something that I never quite understood about the OutRun games. Compare this run to the last video and see how well I do. Because for the most part, I'm taking the same route down the same tracks, but just look and see how wildly different my runs are. I know I mentioned it in the last batch of OutRun videos, and I still don't quite understand what's going on with that. I don't understand what's going on about 90% of the time, so there's nothing particularly new there. This car is new though. And so is the soundtrack in a roundabout way. We've gone back to Magical Sound Shower, but this is the original arcade version. Which matters, because you can totally hear it behind me talking and the roaring engine. Alright, so what do you reckon? Ducks? Ducks! Man, we should take a drinking game out of this. Drink whenever there are ducks. Or, for a better drinking game, try Fuzzy Duck. But that's not something I'm going to explain right now, as we get right back to OutRun! And you know something? I am pretty sure OutRun Arcade had the same setup for Stages 1 and 2 as this game. You went along the glorious beach, and then you went along the high traffic bridge. Weird. Oh, and thank goodness all the traffic's going in the same direction. I would hate to have to do this with oncoming traffic. They were going to do that in the original arcade version of OutRun, but they took it out. Probably because it would make the game incredibly unfair. Yeah, normally I talk about the hidden and cut content in the games that I'm playing, None of that in this game. Or at least nobody's found any. And I didn't necessarily mean to go right there, I was just too busy talking to you guys to really pay attention to where I was going. So, what the hell? Here comes a slightly altered version of the previous video going down the more difficult route. Way to go, CPC Gamer! You sure know how to make things easy on yourself. Although that said, I know I'm doing alright because... And this is really sad. The music is at the same-ish point that I was during some of my Goal C test runs. I mean, you gotta do something while the previous video is processing, right? You might as well get some practice in so the next few runs aren't as dreadful as you anticipate. <laughs> like, this is still kinda dreadful, just... just less so. Now, I've been doing some thinking, and I'm not entirely sure where this map is meant to represent in Europe, if it's rep meant to represent anywhere at all. I think it might be England, or Denmark, and... Man, I always get that corner wrong, but... That is the best I've ever done it, if you can believe that, so... Let's not think about it and continue on to our next map. And probably also ducks. Yeah! Okay, new rule. I'm gonna stop calling ducks every time I hit a checkpoint, because that's gonna get annoying. Of course, 90% of my commentary could be derived from ducks, so I am in fact making this whole thing harder on myself. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's, let's go. So this map never made a great deal of sense to me, because I thought the whole point of OutRun to explore various you know, exotic landscapes, go sightseeing with your sexy Ferrari, and also girlfriend. And that could have gone better, but it also could have gone worse. So think about that, why don't you? But no, sightseeing tour. I don't think this is particularly sexy and fun to take a tour of a functional industrial district. Like, this used to be my commute. I don't want to see this in video games. But that's okay, because we're done now. And we are moving on to goal B, the Metropolis. And, you know, I may need to retract something that I said in the last video. Specifically, this game doesn't have any sexy night driving because that is EXACTLY what we are about to do. Also, once again, I remind you this game has a very strong American design aesthetic running through it. America that is notable for its cobbled roads along the Champs-Élysées and the Eiffel Tower! Pretty sure this is Paris, France, developers. Oh, and look, there's yet another cathedral named Notre Dame. France has got, like, 12 of those. Okay. You know what? I'm too busy complaining about geography. I forgot to pay attention to the road. 
I am the best wheel man, and there is no doubt about that. Now, if I can overtake some of these guys, I will hopefully get enough points to set a new high score. It's kind of sad that some of my best runs here have been in the dinky little starter car. Ah, well, not tonight, Josephine. <laughs> hey, I see what I did there. Well done. I'm well done to getting to goal B after taking the wrong road. That's that's impressive. So join us next time for predictably goal C. And until next time, goodbye. Man, I love low-tech fireworks. They're the best.